what is up my dog Josh in here I don't think I can be more stoked about today than I possibly am right now it is one of the most beautiful days I've seen in a very long time beautiful skies light cloud coverage a little bit of wind the water is blue it feels like Florida right now and I am jacked up I spent the whole entire afternoon yesterday I stayed up till 12 a.m organizing the tackle in my boat so I feel like rejuvenated and fresh and ready to get ripping on some big fish. Today's video is sponsored by Catchco. If you know what Catchco is, they are a company that creates their own independent lures. They're the father company of Mystery Tackle Box and Carl's Bait and Tackle. They make their own line of unique lures and I'm going to use a handful today and I'll let you know when I'm using their stuff. And I'll put a link down below where you can get any of the stuff that I am using. Okay, I'm going to tie up and we are going to see if we can get on some fish. All right, let me show you the setup we're running here. I'm on top of the cooler. We're gonna do some sight fishing. It's super clear out. The water's pretty good biz. So we're gonna see if we can find some big snook or big reds or whatever. 4,000 size spinning rod, mold swim bait on here. And then in the rod holder right here, 2,500. And this lure on here is a Sakoshi bug. It's actually a Ned rig meant for smallmouth and largemouth, but I've been crushing some fish on it lately. And uh, we're gonna have that if we see any sheep's head or smaller reds or smaller snook. Really anything is gonna eat that. And then this is kind of like, we're gonna blind cast around with this and also try to sight cast a, maybe a bigger snook or red. Oh, big snook right in front of me already. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, there's like a, a 30, Probably bigger than 30 inch snook right here. Oop, no, it's spooked. Let's see what happens. Nice. Just letting that Sakoshi bug drag the bottom and there's a trout. I'm in like a little tiny backwater pond that I can creep my flats boat into. I'm just gonna creep through here at slow 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 motion and see if maybe there's any snooker reds hanging all right real quickly just retied put on a biospawn extra swim that i'm going to roll and on it just a weighted swim bait hook that i got off shop carl's i'll leave a link down there as well like a 30 inch snook with this hovering right next to the boat. Never saw him till he's right. Oh my gosh, that's a tarpon. Holy hell. <laughs> what the freak was that about? That is not what I was expecting. Oh. Sick. Oh. Jeez Louise, that was cool. He's trying to get up in those mangroves. Oh. I never even, I never even saw that sucker. Oh man. Gosh, I don't know if I've ever had a tarp and hit a freaking swim bait that hard. What a stud, what a stud. That's what I'm talking about, fellas. Gosh, man, these fish just know how to go so freaking hard. We'll 
call that one a, a silver prince right there. Awesome little four or five pound tarpon. I was sitting there looking at a big snook and he came out and hammered it, man. So cool. Off to a good start. One trout, one tarpon. And I think we'll be able to tangle into a snook hopefully today, a snook or a red. But I man, that was really, really cool. We have re-rigged and uh, maybe we'll catch another tarpon. Maybe we'll catch a snook and move onwards and upwards about possibly getting onto a slam today. I feel like whenever I say, oh, maybe we'll get a slam, that's like instantly a good way to curse it, you know what I mean? But uh, let's see what happens. That was really cool. I'm stoked on that. There she is. These mangroves go back pretty far, man. I got a feeling there's probably some snooker reds, but they're sitting 10 yards back there, you know? Oh, multiple snook right here. They're both decent, not huge. being shy both were like upper 20s low 30s we're just gonna pick this mangrove head apart there's like a nice pocket in here I feel like there's got to be a fish in there I mean it's probably why those two bigger snook were hanging outside but maybe even a bigger one is sitting up inside there I have to kind of surprise I thought those two snook were gonna just hammer the swim bait Ooh, see snook sitting right across the way from me. Ooh, skirt him. Damn. That was so weird. He didn't even scare from the bait skipping. He like spooked after. But well, pretty sure I just saw tarpon right there. So whatever. Like 90% short tarpon. Another one just ate. There it is. Oh, I missed him. I missed him. I missed him. I missed him. Might have blown my chance there, boys. Spooked a snook, missed a tarpon. Tarpon was even smaller than the one I just caught, so he was not very big, but damn, that would have been sweet. Double tarpons in the hole. We're gonna keep, I'm telling you, I, I just feel like there should be a fish in here. I'm just gonna keep peppering some casting. Took a moment to think about re-rigging and what I wanna do. I'm gonna throw a fluke style bait on here. And right now I just got 40 pound fluoro and on it just a weightless, wide gap hook this is called a heavy hammer this is actually a hook that Keshko makes and i have become quite fond of them super super stout hooks man really deep pocket right here i'm gonna burn a few in there and see what happens oh i just scared a fish oh i just got hammered too good night it's the skip scared a fish, and then something ate it on the freaking skip. A lot just happened there. We are back on patrol here, moving down a mangrove line, throwing a paddle tail. We're gonna just be blind casting kind of along the drop off and near the mangrove head and stuff, but we're really keeping a tight eye for cruising snook and reds. What the heck is going on? There's like 40 stingrays around my boat right now. That's so cool. Southern Ray. You don't even care. Oh, okay, maybe it cares a little. Oh, big red coming out the middle. Big red, big red, really good red. Holy crap. What's way is he going? What's he gonna do? Put a generous lead on him right there. See what happens. Swam right over my line. He's like big red. Oh. 
that could have not been a better cast and he just swerved right around it son of a gun saw so 27 and that one was like a 30 maybe bigger like a 30 32 Ooh, nice blow-ups up here in front of me oh like multiple fishes blew up all at once and just like started a chain reaction of blow ups in front of me. That was weird. Oh God, what the heck was that? Dude, snook and he freaking throttled it. I think it's a snook. Oh my god. Dude, that eat was like moving 20 miles per hour. I've never had a snook eat a bait that fast before. Wow, wow, wow. He choked. He didn't choke it, but he freaking slaughtered the exoswim. Nice fish. I said for the snook part of our slam, I wanted a decent sized fish, and that is him. He's probably about a 24, but he is just so thick, and he went hard, man. Boys, we are on our way. Tarpon, trout, snook. At least need a redfish and I've seen some megas. Hopefully we can make it happen, but today's already been amazing. That fish frayed the crap out of my leader. And I'll tell you what, the second I put my hand in that fish's mouth, this bait came flying out of it. Starting to get a little worried there that we weren't going to connect with the snook after I'd seen so many and I was getting rejected but we found the right guy and I think we found the right bait too just this little electric blue greenish exo swim here oh nice redfish really nice redfish Oh, son of a gun. That wasn't the big one, but a redfish came out and swung at my swim bait. There's a fish. Another snuff. Dang it. I mean, I'm stoked to catch snuff, but oh, we need the red. We need the freaking red. Not a bad snook. I mean, he's not that big. He's just a freaking ham, though. Good specimen. Not a bad snook. Gently slide her down. Oh, come on. Redfish. <laughs> the man on a mission right now. Alright, let me give you this scoop. So originally my plan today was like come out, knock a few fish in artificial, call it, and then maybe try to net some mullet and see if we get on some bigger fish on live bait. But I caught a trout really early on and that tarpon as well. And I was like, well, damn, dude, I'm in an area where I know there's a lot of snook. I know there's a lot of reds. Like we got to go for the inshore grand slam on artificials if we have the chance. And the redfish is just eluding me. I've seen a lot of them and i've only had like one or two even show any interest at all and i'm just like getting super frustrated and scrambling here to try to figure out what to do i think i might pick up a top water and throw it around and see if we can get on one i don't know man but we need to get this red oh, I'll tell you what man 
I really thought it was gonna happen today. I mean, regardless, an awesome day of fishing. Trout, two snook, tarpon, got a jack. Oh, but no redfish, man. If I would have caught live mullet, I guarantee you I could have caught one. I saw so many. There was so much bait around. Flick a little finger mullet this big up next to a 20 inch red and he's just gonna slurp it. But we caught all the other fish that are artificial, so I wanted to try to stick to it. It just did not happen. But still a great day. Sun has slipped away. It's about to be dark, so we need to pull up, run back to the ramp, and start heading home. There is a life I lead in this city. Hurrying to cut my teeth. I can take what I need to get by. It doesn't make it easy. Yeah, the peace of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am whole again? Wait, hold on Put me together Take me back where I belong I want it all Gone.